when I, I wasn't in the courtroom, of course, but when I saw his coming out of his car and this or that, I saw a scared puppy that I didn't see any bravado or confidence or anything like that. He knows, he knows the truth that he lost the election and now he's got to face the music. So look, this is basically what Nancy Pelosi does. She delivers for donors and then does something funny that mocks right wingers or whatever. And because of the combination of those two things, I don't generally like it. I considered putting this on the rundown for the main show on Friday. Because I was gonna joke that like Donald Trump is gonna be like so mad when he sees it. But knowing that like, come on, he's not watching all of the interviews. He's not gonna know that Nancy Pelosi said that. Except he totally did because he bleated about it. And it, look, he responds to it, that's not enough for us to cover this. It gets really dark by the end of this. This is his response. I purposefully didn't comment on Nancy Pelosi's very weird story concerning her husband. But now I can because she said something about me with glee that was really quite vicious. I saw a scared puppy, she said as she watched me on television like millions of others that didn't see that. I wasn't scared. Nevertheless, how mean a thing to say. She is a wicked witch whose husband's journey from hell starts and finishes with her. <laughs> she is a sick and demented psycho who will someday live in hell. <laughs> she said he was a scared puppy. That's cute. It's insulting, it's condescending, but it's cute. She was talking about them being in hell. The dude is still recovering from a vicious head wound he got from one of your fans, Donald Trump, which of course he knows. He just wants to talk about the fact that one of his acolytes failed in their assassination plot against the Pelosi's. And that's what he whips out because she said he looked scared. All the court reporters were saying that he looked scared, he was uncomfortable and all that. It's clear that he is scared about what's gonna happen to him. That was maniacal, Francesca. Yeah, no, he is so unhinged. I love that every unhinged bleat starts with the deranged, the psycho, as he's like, mm -hmm. all caps, I'm going to spell Biden bidden because I tweeted this in like two seconds. You know, he's just, on he is so on one, right? Um, like, okay, dude, we need to have the Adderall here. We just, just, you know, and maybe don't snort it. I know you like it up the, up the, you know, schnazzy, but look. A wise woman once said, you get into a tinkle contest with a skunk, you get the tinkle all over you. That was Nancy <laughs> Pelosi. And I love this. It looked like a scared little puppy. The most grandma of all insults, which goes <laughs> to show no one can get to Trump the way a woman can get to Trump. Any woman, if she has a modicum of power, well, that's even yes. worse. But notice the way Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump are like, Hillary Clinton said, basket of deplorables. And <laughs> oh, like, the, the, like you might, it's the nicest thing anyone's ever said about the MAGA base. The nicest yeah. thing anyone has ever said about Trump is that he looked like a scared puppy. We like puppies, puppies are cute. Can you imagine being like, I'll see you in hell? You <laughs> called me a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just if we need a reminder of you know how far we've descended as a culture, if in if if Bill Clinton had tweeted this, and that's it, he didn't do anything else like Trump, but this, you that was literally be the only thing you ever thought about him for the rest of your life. If Obama did this, yes. every time someone brought up Obama for the rest of his life, someone would be like. You remember that tweet he said that was wild. But for Donald Trump, you didn't even know he sent this, did you? It just blends into all of the other crazy. If your friend from high school posted that on Facebook, you'd be sending messages in the group text like, is he okay? <laughs> yeah. But for the former president, it's like, eh, whatever. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.